Hello everyone and welcome to another general vlog video. Today we are going to move that air conditioner from that window frame down a little bit. So right now I'm just kind of trying to see where exactly how far I can move it down. There is a box right in here somewhere that's a switch. So I'm just trying to figure out what I can do and how to do it here real quick. So let me get this all figured out and I'll bring you right back. All right, so so far this is what I got. And I've got the whole cut out. I stayed on this side of the seam stud. And I know it looks a little whopper jawed up there at the top, and it is, but it'll still fit. Um, and I'm talking about like right there, it just, it come down just about a sixteenth of an inch. So, once we get this done and in, I gotta go rip some boards down to, let's see what we have here, two and a half inch. So I'm gonna rip these boards down to two and a half inch and I'll fill in what I've got there and we'll just kinda go from there. All right, so I'll bring you guys right back. All right, as you guys can see, it's all framed out. So now we're getting ready to cut out the wall itself. And I guess I can just leave you guys, I'm going to back you up. I'm going to attempt it with a Sawzall. and I'll secure that the inside panel into the frame. Okay, so there it is. It's in, it's trimmed, it's good to go. So now it's just basically, I have to caulk it. I want to see about fixing the frame of this where the window goes in. And then I'm pretty much done. So I'll bring you back when I get it caulked. 
All right, so got all that done. I'm rolling up my extension cord now. So basically, we got the thing moved, and then the air conditioner moved, and then we trimmed it out, we caulked it, then we put the old window back in, but we had to replace some of the wood. And I'll show you that here in just a second. All right. All right. Let me go ahead and try to get you guys off this tripod. There we go. And I'll take you over. I'm not going to take you inside the customer's house, but I'll show you here. We had to replace... Oh, I'm noisy anyway. If you can see the bot the bottom of that has all been replaced and the sides were still good so I'm pretty well happy with the way that it turned out I know oh I actually broke my tripod hmm well there's no putting you guys back in that one right now is there so with all that being said let's take a walk because I got to go down here and find some screws to finish off the bottom so let us do that and you guys can just walk with me considering yes I brought my truck down here just simply to use my tailgate as a workbench but we're only that far away from home so anyways it's all worked out really good uh, it took me a little longer than what I expected, but I didn't have to do as much work as I thought I would. Does that make sense? No. Uh, I thought I was going to have to replace the whole window frame, and I didn't have to. I only had to replace part of it. So, well, the bottom part, actually. The sides were still good. They had no rot. They, they had some water damage, you know, just discoloration, I guess I should say. So, all right, oh, goodness gracious. Let's see what kind of screws I've got here. Um, I don't even know that I've even got any that will do for what I need to do. So, hmm. what do I do now, Sambo? All right, I got an idea. Well, I've been sitting here yakking my brain out and nothing come out so i don't know where we ended so i'm gonna walk you back through it if you guys have already seen this i do apologize see this window in this window air conditioner or this air conditioner in this window he lost one window and if you look up here see the crack because this is pushing on that it cracked that window so that window is no good now if you walk over here You'll see this one. Not only did he lose his kitchen window. I know I looked at this mobile home at one time. But he lost both the top and the bottom. And that's old jealousy window. He had to really tear it up to get that in there. I just don't like that. I like cutting a hole in a wall beside a stud. There's not a lot of weight. So it's, it's honestly, it's just fine to do that way. Um, and that's what this gentleman wanted. He's got a good idea because where we moved it, I, I couldn't move it four inches to one way that he wanted it, but I was able to get it close um, because of a light switch and a stud. But his is kind of half in between his living room and half going down his hallway. So he's actually going to benefit better from this. It's actually going to cool more of his living room this way. And he still has his window, as you've seen. So anyways, with all that being said, please give this video a thumbs up. Like the video. If you're not already subscribed, press that subscribe button down here below. And when you've done that, smash that bell notification. Go all the way up to the top and click all so you can notify on every single video that we post. And follow us on Facebook under General Vlog Video. Share us on your social media pages. And when I ask you to subscribe, it's not like a magazine subscription. It absolutely costs you 0% nothing. It just helps our channel grow the same way a thumbs up helps our channel grow. 
And with all that being said, I hope you guys have a great day and even better tomorrow and an awesome night. And I don't really, yeah, I guess I do have to poke you guys in the ear. Hey, anyways, I'm not far away from you, but I've got to poke you guys in the ear to turn this thing off. So we'll see you on the next video. Stay safe and have a super great day. See you on the next video.